you take my phaser communicator? Yes, Captain, I did. Well, I must ask you to return them. I'm sorry, Captain. I cannot do that. Were you armed, you would be tempted to use violence, and that is something we cannot permit. You will pass well for an Organian, Captain. You should have accepted our offer, Elborn. With the Klingons, you'll have no choice. What will you do when they come? We shall continue as before. We have nothing to fear. You have a lot to learn, sir. If I know the Klingons, you'll be learning the hard way. Are you the ruling council member? I am Elborn, temporary head of the council. I bid you welcome. No doubt you do. I am Kor, military governor of Organia. Who are you? He is Broner, one of our leading citizens. He has no tongue. I have a tongue. Good. You'll be taught to use it. Where's your smile? My what? That stupid, idiotic smile everyone else seems to be wearing. You're a ram amongst sheep. Do you object to our being here? Well, you're here, and there's nothing I can do about that. Good. Honest hatred. Very refreshing. However, it makes no difference whether you accept me or not. I am here and will stay. You are now subjects of the Klingon Empire. You'll find there are many rules and regulations. They will be posted. Violation of the smallest of these will be punished by death. We shall obey your regulations, Commander. You disapprove, Baroner? You need my approval? I need your obedience. Nothing more. Will I have it? Well, you seem to be in command. Yes, I am. I will need a representative from among you. Liaison between the forces of the occupation and the civil population. Smiles. I can't trust a man who smiles too much. You, Baroner. You're the man. Me? I don't want the job. Have I asked if you want the job or not? You will find that the Klingons have a reputation for being cruel. You also find that it is well deserved. Should one Klingon soldier be killed, a thousand Organians will die. I will have order. Am I understood? Commander, I assure you our people want nothing but peace. We will cause no problems. Good. I'm sure. Come, Baroner. You don't like to be pushed. Good. You may be a man I can deal with, Baroner. Come. Of course I blew it up deliberately. But that was violence. History is full of examples of civil populations fighting back against military dictatorship. We might not be able to destroy the Klingons, but we can tie them up, blow up their installations, and disrupt their communication, make Organia completely useless to them. I implore you never do such a thing again. Why are you so afraid of retribution? Does your personal freedom mean so little to you? How little you know of us, Captain. All I know is that you apparently don't have the backbone to fight and protect your loved ones. I speak of courage. Does courage mean so little to you? You speak of courage. It's obvious you don't know the difference between courage and foolhardiness. It's always the brave ones who die. The soldiers. I hope you continue to enjoy the sweetness of your lives. You disgust me. What do you plan on doing with them, Commander? What we do with all spies and saboteurs. You will be killed after he's had a first-hand experience with our mind scanner. There's no need to use your machine on him. I can tell you his name. Captain James T. Kirk. Aylborn! What? Captain of the USS Enterprise? A starship commander. I'd hope to meet you in battle, but... For some reason, I feel like he just wants to hurt you, Commander. Just like you want to hurt him. That's going to be rather difficult now, isn't it, Captain? What an admirable people. Do you always betray your friends? I didn't want you to harm them. I'm sorry, Captain. It was for the best. 
I hope no harm would come of it. I'm used to the idea of dying, but I have no desire to die for the likes of you. I don't blame you, Captain. Leave us, old man. I need to talk to the Captain before I do what must be done. Have a drink with me, Captain. No, thank you. I assure you it's not drugged. With our mind scanner, there's no need for such crude methods. What do you want from me? A great deal. But first, let's just talk. You think I'm going to sit here and just talk with the enemy? You'll talk. Either here, now, voluntarily, or under the mind scanner. The fact is, Captain, I have a great deal of admiration for your Starfleet, a remarkable instrument. And truth be told, I have a great deal of respect for you. I know, of course, that you were the one who destroyed our supplies last night. Something was destroyed? Nothing inconsequential, I hope. Hardly. It was of great importance to us. But nothing that can't be replaced. You of the Federation, you're much like us. We are nothing like you. We're a democratic body. Come now. I'm not referring to minor ideological differences. I'm referring to us as a species. Here we are on a planet of sheep. Two tigers, hunters, predators, killers. It's precisely that which makes us great. There's a universe to be taken, Captain. It's a very large universe, Commander. Full of people who don't like the Klingons. Excellent. Then it'll be a test of wills. Power. Survival must be earned, Captain. Tell me about the dispersal of your Starfleet. Go climb a tree. I can learn everything I need to know from the mind scanner, but there'd be little of your mind left, and I have no desire to see you become a vegetable. Not a pleasant prospect, Captain, but it's what's in your future if you don't tell me everything I need to know. Twelve hours, Captain. It'll take a lot longer than that, Commander. Longer than that, I will not wait. I respect you, Captain, but this is war. A game we Klingons play to win. One of my guards will escort you to a cell. We'll be watching you closely.